हेलो वेलकम एंड नमस्कार जेड टेस्ट एंड वी आर लर्निंग इंपॉर्टेंट प्रॉब्लम फ्रॉम एग्जाम्स एंड दिस टाइम वी आर विथ टेस्ट ऑफ सिग्निफिकेंस ऑफ टू प्रपोर्शन वन टेल टेस्ट एंड द केस इज अगेन आस्क और कवर्ड इन मेनी ऑफ द एग्जामिनेशन इन इंडियन यूनिवर्सिटीज एंड प्रोफेशनल बॉडीज एंड ऑल्सो द केस वी आर कवरिंग एट प्रेजेंट इज समवर्ड इंस्पायर्ड फ्रॉम रियल लाइफ केस दैट मीन्स दिस इज अ मिक्सचर ऑफ एग्जामिनेशन प्रॉब्लम एंड सम रियल लाइफ से सिचुएशन इन अ सिटी विथ लार्ज पॉपुलेशन द एसोसिएशन ऑफ डर्मेटोलॉजिस्ट हैव क्लेम दैट Increasing use of underground water has affected the hair quality of young people in the city, and also claimed that it has affected the hair quality of young males at a greater level. That means, at a greater level means at a greater level than that has affected to the hair quality of females in the same age group. Because of increasing habit of washing hair more frequently than necessary. Yes. A professor of statistics decided to test the claim and found 30% of males in the age group 25-30 years are found to be with grey hair in a random sample of 1,200. A professor, like someone else, became curious and decided to go for the statistical analysis of the claim and say randomly selected a sample of 1,200 males. Age twenty between twenty five and thirty, and found thirty percent males in this age group with grey hair. Yes, okay. While in case of a random sample of nine hundred females of the same age group, the proportion is found to be twenty five percent, because in females generally in say India or Indian subcontinent countries in the Indian subcontinent, the frequency of say hair washing in females is quite less than frequency of hair washing in males. Because of many reasons, what conclusion can we arrive at about the difference in the proportion of grey-haired people among males and females in the city? That means, see, again I am going to read the sentence. What conclusion can we arrive at about the difference in the proportion of grey-haired people among males and females in the city? It is tougher against the statement. Giving the information about null or alternative hypothesis in previous cases. What conclusion? Now the examiner has left it upon us to interpret this sentence. Interpret for what? To decide whether this is a case of two-tailed test or one-tailed test. Yes. What is the argument of dermatologist? First, that in young people the proportion of grey hair is increasing because of uh, use of underground water. Okay. another argument for say males and females it was the use of underground water has affected more to the males that kind of argument also they have made and the sent the say last part of the question what conclusion can we arrive at about the difference in the proportion of grey haired people among males and females in the city Yes, if we consider two classes, males and females, effect of use of underground water on males and females of age group twenty-five and thirty years, then the claim, one of the two claims, is it has affected the hair quality of males more than the hair quality of females. That kind of claim or argument is also there. So this is the case of one-tailed test. The null hypothesis is very simple. There is no difference in, say, effect of use of underground water on males and females. But we can make it easier. The proportion of grey-haired people. There is no significant difference in the proportion of grey-haired people among males and females, because proportion of grey hair represents the effect of use of underground water. But If this null hypothesis is rejected after say testing of hypothesis, what should be our fresh or new conclusion? Should it be 
there is significant difference in say the proportion of grey haired people among males and females no because we should consider the second argument of the dermatologist it has affected more to the quality of sorry hair quality of males yes so the alternative hypothesis should be the proportion of grey haired males is greater than the proportion of grey haired females yes or the proportion of grey haired people is more in case of males than in case of females that kind of one sided alternative hypothesis we should take because of the claim by the dermatologist that the use of underground water has affected more to the quality of males or rather hair quality of males yes so this is the case of one tail test and not two tail test because of this specific kind of claim by the dermatologist in the city yes so this is one tail test okay now the figures are actually i have already written on the board and the in case of males the sample size so this is n1 and similarly this is proportion of grey haired people that means this is say p cap 1 for us sample proportion yes similarly this can be the sample size in case of males that is n2 and this is obviously p cap 2 now first of all uh, if we go further in the calculation part only best estimate of population proportion that is p that is uh, p cap 1 into n1 plus p cap 2 into n2 upon n1 plus n2 okay let's substitute the numbers p cap 1.3 into 1200 n1 plus 0.25 into 900 divided by 1200 plus 900 so ultimately it comes to 360 plus 225 divided by 1200 plus 900 so it comes to 585 divided by 2000 100. So the best estimate of population proportion that is capital P comes to 0.28 in general we can believe that there are 28 percent people with gray hair in the age group 25 to 30 yes this can be the common conclusion for males as well as females combined okay now we have all the three rather all five things p cap 1 p cap 2 n1 n2 and capital p but first of all since this is the case with two large samples we can think about z test only and again we have to analyze the whole thing on the basis of the two proportions no parameters like mean standard deviation etc so we cannot think about the difference between two means or anything else so this is pure case of z test of difference between two proportions there should be no confusion in this matter okay now we have all the statistics so let's go for testing of hypothesis and for testing of hypothesis first of all what is level of significance to be taken in the problem definition the last sentence written is yes the level of significance taken is 5% that means alpha equals to 0 0.05 since this is one tailed test we did not get alpha by 2 so let's take the critical value 
of Z will be yeah critical value of Z for one tail test at 5% level of significance and we are taking it from the table of critical value of or rather from the T distribution the very last row for that stands for infinite degrees of freedom and column of 0.055% it comes to 1.645 1.645 this is the critical value of Z at 5% level of significance for one tail test now Z value or Z statistic it is P cap 1 minus P cap 2 sorry first we need to write the hypothesis is because we just discussed about the two null and alternative hypothesis is orally only null hypothesis please always try to write about the general wordings of null hypothesis in very simple language there is no significant difference in the effect of use of under ground water on the hair quality of males and females in 25-30 years age group this is the main thing which we want to study HO there is no significant difference but that means the proportions are almost same in case of both males as well as females that means P1 minus P2 equals to 0 alternative hypothesis mm, the use of underwater uh, sorry underground water has affected the air quality of males in the age group twenty five thirty years more than that of females in the same age group yes the main thing is the use of underground water has affected more to the air quality of males among this age group so H A over H1 will be P1 now P1 stands for males so P1 is greater than P2 or P1 minus P2 is greater than 0 1 tailed test yes that we know we have already discussed this now we have everything so let's calculate Z value P cap 1 minus P cap 2 small p's minus P1 minus P2 capital that is for two proportions divided by into under root P into 1 minus P upon N1 plus capital P into 1 minus capital P upon N2 let's substitute the values 0.3 minus 0.25 minus 0 by virtue of null hypothesis upon under root 0.28 into 0.72 divided by 1200 plus 0.28 into 0.72 divided by 
900. This will be 0 0.30 minus 0.25 upon under root. Okay, let's calculate.